like of learning how the customers buy, I start adding employees. And from one employee, I grew to three. Now we're a team of 85 team members. My first year in business, you know, probably didn't, there was probably didn't make any money that year. I had to borrow money from my brother. My first order was actually the police department of Miami. And they wanted safety shoes. $30,000 worth of safety shoes. So I had to, my brother helped me with that order. And um, I, I was very successful in, in meeting the demands of, of the requirement. And by word of mouth, one order became you know, the, the next order. Very important philosophy of always you know, handle every transaction very important. Like if it's your only transaction. And make sure that you do everything perfect. But that was my first year. The second year I probably broke even. And then I had to pay an employee. So that responsibility. I was able to stay in the garage for a good three years. Very, very important so you could keep a low overhead. Extremely important. You have to keep your costs down. Especially during the first, as far as long as you can. Even today, I like to keep low overhead. And then the neighbors got tired of seeing the trucks coming because I had UPS coming. Sometimes the truckers forget to read the PO and I had big trucker, trucker traders coming and the neighbors were not happy. So I moved out and actually that was the greatest gift. I was able to move to um, an outlet area and I had an office and I was able to have six desks there and a shipping department. Turn the lights on, that's a, the burn group. And, um, and I then I started inviting customers to come and visit me. And through the organization uh, of the NMSTC, I was able to meet many customers. Um, here in the Tampa Bay area, you know, there are many organizations that can help us, uh, such as the Hispanic Business Institute, uh, and they have relationships with the organization that I mentioned to you earlier, the NMSTC. They have a national conference throughout the country. They just met in Austin, Texas last week. And they have beautiful diversity officers wanting to meet us. The program is alive and well in many organizations. But the year that really made a difference at the Burn Group was in 2008 or so, where a customer came to visit us and they said, Pilar, if your company is doing this type of product, for a supplier called Lockheed, if you're purchasing the product, how about if you help us with, the, with a service? The service of allowing the bird group to enter into their system and helping them analyze information for purchasing. And that doubled the bird group with the amount of employees. So gradually, very, very carefully, because I believe in, in growing slow, surely, carefully. Because first of all, you need to take care of your employees to make sure that they're okay. You cannot sacrifice your current business because you have a new opportunity. So very carefully, I was able to double the business to what is today of 85 employees. But that service, as afraid as I was of, of saying yes to it, when you have a customer that trusts you, they walk along with you. And most of the organizations that, or customers that I provide products to, they have programs to help you develop. To, they teach you the quality programs and more about that in a moment. Any questions about the growth of the employees? 